Tara Sullivan's newest novel, The Bitter Side of Sweet, tells the story of two young Bambaran boys who lived in Mali, but have been working at a cacao farm for two years in the Ivory Coast. The narrator, Amadou, is the older of the two, at 15 years old, and is constantly watching his little brother, Seydou, who's eight. In Amadou's life, he focuses on two things, counting what matters and keeping Seydou safe. For the past two years, the only things that have mattered are how many cacao pods Amadou and Seydou have cut down that day, and if Seydou is still safe. The more pods they cut, the greater the chance they have of staving off the boss's beatings for the day, and for Amadou to keep both himself and his brother alive. The boys went to Ivory Coast to make some money for their family back in Mali, but through the years, they haven't seen a dime for their long day's work. After they realized they weren't going to get paid, or much less get to go home, each day drained a little more hope from the boys. The monotony melds days together until they're no longer a number that matters. That is, until a girl shows up at the camp, named Kaja. The moment she arrives at the camp, she was fighting and running without any signs of stopping. Kaja keeps fighting and escaping until the bosses finally break her, and what happens to the little brother he's fought so hard to protect snaps Amadou to the realization they need to get out of there. The Bitter Side of Sweet follows these three through their journey to escape child labor and get back to their families, wherever they may be.